Welcome to your Daily Five for Thursday, November 23rd, 2023. The most recent late night that posted on Monday was my interview with authors Meg Hofdahl and Kelly Florence about their most recent book, The Science of Agatha Christie. And it occurred to me that I didn't do the book review that usually I do to go along with a late night. Usually I do them ahead of time. But in this case, as I think might have been the case last time I talked to them as well, I ended up reading the book right on top of the late night. Now, normally when I do something like this or in the past when I've interviewed them, I tried to make sure I had their book done well ahead of time. And that way I could do the book review and kind of do a lead in to the late night. But the last time, I don't remember why I ran late on the book. I think there was a scheduling thing with that where maybe they were available earlier than I anticipated. With this one, I'll be honest, I was so engrossed with the oral history of the David Lynch Dune film, which was recently released, that I, I really wanted to finish that before I started another book. And I did manage to finish Science of Agatha Christie, but when I tell you I finished it within 24 hours of doing the interview, it is not an exaggeration. And, I mean, honestly... If you've heard my reviews of their books before, you are probably not going to be all that surprised to hear that I enjoyed it quite a bit. I like their approach to doing these books. I think it's very effective. I've had a great time with all the books that I've read before. That's why I keep bringing them on, because I think it's a great series and I want to try to promote it as much as I can. But I will say, there is one thing that's unique about this particular book. And if you've heard The Late Night, you probably already know what it is. And that is, all the other books I've read of theirs, I had at least some familiarity with some percentage of the material they were covering. So for those books, there was this almost trivia element to it. And I think I've talked about this in the reviews where I went, okay, I, I see where they're getting into. I've seen these movies. I wonder if they're going to talk about any of them. Oh, they did or they didn't. And I learned something either new or a new aspect of something I was already familiar with. And then with something like Science of Stephen King, well, I'm a long time Stephen King fan. So I, there's almost nothing in there in terms of the books where I went, oh, I've never read that. There were a couple, but not many. And a lot of his biography I knew too. And I'd, heard, I'd read his memoir and all that type of thing. So a lot of that was kind of new aspects of things I was familiar with. But with Agatha Christie, as I said in the late night, I've never read any of her books. And I really didn't know much about her at all. I'm familiar with the same things most people are. If you've seen Poirot, which I saw when I was very young, so I don't even know if I associated that character with Agatha Christie until much later in life. And of course, most people know the Orient Express story, if not the entire story, at least the twist, whether you've seen the Kenneth Branagh adaptation or any of the many others there have been. So I have all those pop culture references in there, but not a deep knowledge, not a real knowledge. And again, not having read any of the books. So in terms of what I was learning per page, this book probably delivered the most education of any of their books which is not to say it's better or worse than the other ones. It was just a bit different because with the other ones, again, there were aspects I already was familiar with that they may have had a more, they may have provided more depth on, but I was at least superficially aware of, or there were new facts, but this was pretty much wall to wall, all new information where every page brought me something I really wasn't aware of outside of, again, very surface level stuff. So it was a, it was a different read for all the other ones, just as enjoyable. Again, this is not going to be a shocking review. I, I keep bringing them on and talking to them because I like their work and I try to highlight it because I like their work. And I think it's, it's a series that provides a nice balance of information along with entertainment. And it really, this book has me wanting to read. I've noted down a couple of Agatha Christie books that I'm going to put on my reading list. And a lot of that is because I found this, this background on her, on her, like I didn't know anything about her pharmacological, I believe is the, is the word. I know anything about her background with pharmaceuticals. I knew nothing about her background as far as archaeology went. And that's all interesting to now read certain books, knowing that she had firsthand knowledge of some of these things, and especially because she apparently employed poison a lot, something I really didn't know. As I said, it doesn't make it necessarily a better or worse book than any of the others because it's got that very similar and familiar style, which I enjoy. But this one was different in that I had so little coming into it. There was so little ingrained knowledge. It was really a, okay, every page that I'm turning here has something new that I'm going to incorporate into my knowledge of this person and, and their work. So that was a unique experience. But in terms of the book itself, if you've read any of the other ones that they've done, and you've enjoyed them, you're going to enjoy this one. I don't think you need to know anything about Agatha Christie. I don't think knowing hurts at all. It hasn't with any of the other ones. And the lack of knowledge didn't impact my enjoyment of this one. So again, Science of Agatha Christie by Meg Hofdahl and Kelly Florence. Link will be in the show notes. Worth reading. Later.